Okay, uh, actually I'm a Dr. Mohamed Fadil Madin. So I'm from the Water Research Alliance. Uh, so this is my first uh, project for the Aga Aga from the seaweeds. And my background especially on the environmental biotechnology. This research has been funded by Japanese. So they're giving us a lot of money to starting with the culturing techniques. And as well, we also have get some funding from Ministry, from MOHE, Ministry of Higher Education, from East Science. And the total funding is around 300,000 for two years. But I think that's enough, fair enough for us to starting that kind of collaborations. And also uh, the cost to make sure that it can be commercialized is very, very cheap. Because it's from the waste, it's from the natural resources. So we just collect the, the seaweed from the natural and then we can just make a kind of modifications, only very simple one. But when we discovered some of the potential elements in the agar that contains a kind of ionic elements, and we try with the wastewater absorption, and it's successful. So that's the first starting of our project. This project actually uh, basically on the fundamental of ionic element absorption. But in order to absorb this kind of metal contamination, they need a time time series to make it in a very efficient way but we try to modify the treatment and also some of the potential so we make a kind of modification on agar agar because that agar agar as I told you is a kind of contamination of absorption so in the metals they have a lot of positive ions agar agar actually is a negative ions so that's why it can attach more so in order to improve this invention, we try to uh, persuade the industry or the mining industry to use these techniques very efficient way they can absorb the gold effectively. Because gold uh, processing, they need to use a cyanide, very, very toxic things. But this seaweed, there is no other toxic things can be used. So uh, we are using eco-environmental friendly products for the industry. The, the most excellent uh, seaweed culture in Sabah, in Sampurna, Tawau. So there are a lot of uh, culturing and farmers doing it for several years. So that's why we are trying to create something that will be benefit to other people. Because farmers uh, in, in that kind of area, they are very, very poor. So in order to increase the rate, so they are focused on the collabor collaboration with the industry.